Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Into the Breach, where so far we have secured two islands. And our power grid situation is a little dicey, but we still have Laser Mech with Ghana here. And the uh, repair drop, which could prove very interesting. Ralph on the ramming engines, which he's fairly expendable, but we'll see if that one damage each is helpful or harmful without getting the health upgrade. And then we have a no pilot, so our friend of Ghana is still going to be coming in there. I don't think we're at the point where we can get the Volcanic Hive yet, so let's do some RTS Corporation today. This may be a four island run. So we have to start off with a Lightning Storm, destroy two mountains and kill seven enemies. That's going to be rough. Maybe what we can do instead is start here and work our way to these two spots and see kind of where we're standing. Less than three, gri three grid damage. Protect the Old Earth Bar. Sounds good, except we do have Explodey Boys here, and we have an Alpha Spider as well. That's going to be a pain in the butt. So I can't try and take out two people here. One of the issues is that this guy is going to get stuck and tied up, and he doesn't have much of a way to escape right now. But if I drop him over here, it's less likely he's going to get attacked. The question is going to be, can he actually engage these guys in a line? I want to put ramming mech right here, although a lot of these positions are going to put us in trouble for uh, potential deployments in terms of, like spiders getting stuck here. That seems problematic, or we could have a really short run today. So let's see if we can get some good stuff here. So time pod, that's going to make this horizontal spread a problem. Ha! Time pod violating work safety protocols. Of course it is. Okay, that building's toast. That's annoying, but you did stick that guy too. Now, one of the things that we do have here is that we can totally zap you. And uh, we can't really ram you very well. But I guess what we could do is if we pull this spider over here, actually kill the spider. I mean, one of the really annoying things right now is that we're facing potential building damage. Except this ram is going to be able to block this damage. So that means that this spider may just have to hatch, because if I fire right here, that kills the time pod. And we don't really want to kill the time pod, so that's some good luck, bad luck. We got a lot of things coming. So how much damage does this ram do? Three. So that'll outright kill him. That seems all right. Gets the spider out of the picture too. I mean, do we have a better move here by actually ramming the egg here? That's going to create a little explosion, which is kind of annoying. Let's see if the turn reset does. Oh, that spider was going to die from lightning anyway. All right, well. Can we get any closer? All right, and that blocks, that blocks that hit, which is just one damage. So I can accept that. We may do some field repairs here, but good first turn overall. So our science mech's going to get zapped here. Oh, no, we lost the bar. Oh, and I can't reset the turn either. Okay. That's, that's my irresponsibility. Oh, well. I'm sure somebody saw that coming. Wow, there's a lot of these guys here. Okay. Hmm. This is what we call problematic. And we are only on one grid power right now, so if we take any grid damage here, we are our run is done. I think our run just might be done. Oh boy. Um, let's see. Because I have to kill you. I have to somehow take you out. Because line of sight is going to be a problem here. Like, we can't... We, we pretty much have to just, if we can force this guy down. Like right now, that would kill Ralph. We want to try avoid killing Ralph if we can. 
You can't move over here, which stinks. Because I'd love to pull you into the lightning. And we don't have any other similar good plays here. So this is still coming. We can't really push you out of the way. Because that just has you shooting this building, which is already getting attacked. Uh, alright. Gotta think about our potential answers here. So if we sack Ralph, so this is a regular digger, this is an alpha. Could shove this guy back, I think. Oh no, they don't move. Stable. But after taking one or more damage, they do drop. All right. So we can live here if we just hop here and zap this one. Hop here, push this one. And, uh... And I can put some anticipatory defense on the buildings here. Well, if we're doing that... Doesn't that mean we can just shove this guy down? Because we go... Yeah, but then how do we, how do we manage the... Uh... Huh. That's a problem. Maybe there's a good answer to it. Because we'd want to block both of these buildings. But my goal would be to kill this guy. And that's a little more damage. Hmm. And I think that would also mean the explosion would be a problem. So, because <sighs> we gotta we gotta block both of these tiles. But once again, it's only one damage. So, yeah, I guess that's what we'll have to do. It saves it saves the time pod. This is not my favorite move at all. Yeah, damage readouts are in the red. Congratulations. All right. So we got a few things up. We got a time pod possibly incoming. We didn't get to use our lightning this time. We're going to need to shield Ralph if we're going to ram with him again. Okay, you were smart. You're smart. That's annoying. That's fine. That's alright. That's pretty decent, but doesn't not super helpful. So this guy's attack doesn't matter. This guy's attack is gonna get shielded. So this is the one we have to take out. If I go right here. We can't totally take him out. There's got to be a good answer here. Like if we hop here, pop those guys, that'll do some damage. And that won't clean out the rest of them. So I guess you'll have to repair. Well, it's here. If they explode, that's going to do one damage to the adjacent one, right? Yeah. I don't remember if I've used my turn reset or not, but this seems like it'll be okay. Alright. Oh no, it's not okay. It's almost okay. Alright, so we still have you firing here. 
which means this guy's gonna be up another turn, which is annoying, but... I mean, really, our only option at this point is just a shield, isn't it? Cool. Because we don't want any explosions. We'll get those wiped out. Lightning not really helping me today. So, field repairs on Ghana. It's going to be hard to get some of his attacks actually to go off. Time to get serious, okay. Okay, where are you gonna screw me now? That's annoying. That's great if I can get the shot off. Okay, so I can yank him back here. But I can't get this shot. How many shields do I have left? I've used all my shields. Does Ralph have to die? Because if I take this shot, that means this guy doesn't explode. But this attack, I can't stand it. May Does Ralph have to die, I guess is the question. Because I could collect the time pod and have this guy shoot into nothing. So no, it doesn't seem like Ralph has to die. Or maybe he does, I don't know. Okay, so you're gone. Time pod gets. Will you end one? Ralph lives! I really thought that was curtains for this run. But there we go. Very annoyed I lost the old earth bar, but... I mean, I'm not perfect at this game at all. So we'll definitely want to get some energy the next few places. All right, so what's in our pod? Why can't it be energy? Oh, wow, an electric whip. Well, that's very interesting. I have not played with the Blitzkrieg group on camera because of things, but that is a very fun weapon that may do better on the laser mech because we're already getting in really close here anyway. It just takes a crap ton of damage. Yeah. Well, we survived. That's the plus. Scrapyard. Defend the bombs. Protect the batteries. We may have to try one of these little easier missions here, but we want to try and get as much grid as we can. So here's our two prototype bombs. We finally can knock some guys into the water. So where can we deploy? That will actually do some good. I guess right here is pretty good. Wow, those batteries are actually tucked in really nicely. So yeah, if I do this, like I'd like to do this move, but this may knock out the guy already. So that's important. We'll put this other mech here. Wait, where's our where's our position for you? You don't really do anything. Okay, that's fine. Or it's our funeral. I don't know. Please stay there. Okay, those bombs don't cost energy. Oh man, we got some good shots here. Okay, that's a three damage hit. So one of the really unfortunate things is that I don't think I can disable the shields here by this, but I really want to take out two birds with one stone on this hit. This guy's actually attacking reactor, so I need to take him out. I feel like I should know the answers to some of these things right now. Let's see. Okay. Well, we know for a fact that'll take him out. So that's pretty good. And we can always use this mech to pull that guy over. Is that the move? 
Yeah, I want to say my turn reset because I, I think maybe yanking this guy over with the science mech would be all right, but it's pretty much functional equivalent damage here. So we'll ramming speed you. Another back down. Block the spawn, which is very important. Get all these guys out. Oh, and we're in fog too, so that's fun. And yank. Good first turn. Maybe that last mission was just a warm up. I don't know. Turn in the second. Now I can definitely block a spawn there, and I can shield this guy. I'd love to be able to shield and block a spawn there as well, but I don't think that's going to happen. But we know we're going to go here. I guess I can put a shield on the Renfield Bomb as well. Playtime is indeed over. So we got two spawns to deal with for next time. More importantly, both those guys are down. Okay. That's fun because it does nothing. Hmm. I mean, if I push this guy... If I push my mech onto the spawn point, it dies. Or we can get really cute and do this. Which would mean that his ramming would actually kill this guy. We take two damage on our science mech, but you're replaceable. And that leaves over here. We can put some damage right here on you. Or we could do a field repair. I think that's a defendable play. Let's do a field repair. Wow, that's full health? Holy cow. Heal all player units, including disabled mechs. So that is a full heal for everybody. I like that. That's a, that's a good safety throw. Okay, spider's gonna be annoying. We have a bad setup for a spider here. Okay, so if we yank you, we can take the hit. Zap you. Destroy you. That seems all right. Take that hit. I mean, it's the last turn anyway, so that's why that's why we repair, right? That spider died in smoke. Huh, interesting. Well, both prototypes survived intact. Don't know why that'd be important for later in the game. Okay, sheer country. Solar farms take less than three grid. Protect the coal plant take less than three grid. Yeah, I think we're going to want to do these two. Because uh, less than three grid damage is strangely doable even with the laser mech so far. So we do have a cataclysm here which will help us out. We have some fairly decent lines of attack until the next to last turn. And those mountains are going to be a problem for our deployment. Let's do new Terra. Well, no, let's go for the two solar farms first. Now, we can't take three grid damage because we die. Okay, this is called killing my guy. So we don't want to do that. Huh. We'll deploy here. Anything I can do to uh, take this out as a plus. All right. Like, you can hop-skip wherever, and that's annoying, but 
ramming speed should be do should make it work. Oh, good, we got smoke there too. And a time pod. Is that going to cancel the smoke? Yes, it will. That sucks. And we learned from a prior episode that. Oh yes, please stay in line. You were supposed to be gone. Oh, this is annoying. So we learned in a prior video that ramming things into the time pod destroys the time pod. So that's going to be an issue. We can yank this guy to the side. Or I can just outright shield both of these. But my goal would be to ram this way and take these guys out, which would leave us to fire here. Does that take out everybody? No, that actually hits one of the solar panels. That's a problem. Well, is there a better answer then? I don't know if there's a better answer. And the problem is that takes out one of our uh, abilities. Like, we can't fire this way. That's the end of our game. This does nothing. This does something. Damn, I guess we have to take one of the... And this is where deployments are so super tricky. Like right now, you're only hitting here. So say I do yank you. We got a turn reset, might as well use it. I mean, is it better to shield the solar panel? If I do that, I can't take out these guys. Let's reset. I'm just gonna have to eat a solar panel damage and that's awful, but lots of little uh, sticky messes here. So if we put you here, yank you this way. Oh, wrong button. Okay. I mean, there's nobody, oh, got smoke. That worked out, things I should be seeing. Okay, so we got a little spider. That's going to be a big problem. That guy's a problem. That's a problem. That's not a problem. Okay, so fundamentally, what's affected here? I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that guy. I mean, I can ram this one, which feels like a little bit of a waste. The alternative... That's not good. Like, the alternative would be to attempt to shield something, but that's not really gonna work. Like, if I could free this guy, if we can shield both of these, that'd be amazing. So I guess what would it be? I hate leaving all these guys up, but I can't really kill them right now. But if I ram here, take out these two spiders. That puts me at one health, which is pretty bad. Um, hey, cat. Then we have laser on this one, which feels a little wasteful. Because we're going to have five guys next turn. Well. But that puts up some smoke up there and takes out that digger. And then we protect this thing that they keep wanting to attack, so. Alright. So, pop you. And shield you guys. We're going to have to work on our positioning next turn. Good. 
I can live with that. All right. So we can outright kill this guy. Okay, do I have, I have one more shield. We don't want to shield the spider. So you're not attacking and you're not attacking. This mountain choke point is actually doing some wonders for us. So if we move down here, once again, I'd love to take out the spider, but I have to take out the annoying Vec Menace. Doesn't seem like there's a lot I can do outside of puffing wind here. Unless I go here, shield both of you all. That's our last shield. How much do I care about that? Probably not a lot. Okay, so you're d Ow! Cat! Claw in my knee. Don't need that. I can't actually move, so it feels a little wasteful to use that last shield on this, but there we go. We got one turn after this. Okay, that's a that's what I thought would happen. Alright. So you're not attacking. zap this way. How much damage do you do? Three. So you can take that hit. And do we do we sack Ralph? I mean, this is a Ghana run, and we can't take that two damage. I don't think there's any alternatives. I have to free both of my people. And... I don't think there's anything I can attack that would stop that. That's a regular ground tile. It's not smoke. If I move down here, there's literally nothing. I have no shots. I should have I seen that spot ahead of time. I wasn't doing a good job thinking of the next turn. But if I go up here, this lets me block and potentially just yank for no good reason. We just have to make it one more turn. We can go with the AI pilot, and we're going to be switching power off of the uh, extra damage ramming, because so far that does not done a lot for us. Well, it's put us in more precarious situations like this. So, Ralph, it's been real, but you're dead. All right. Got the pod. Wait, you're attacking? Huh. It said you weren't attacking, huh? Well, it's an AI anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That is where we are at in this save right now. There's literally nothing I can do. If I want to preserve humanity, Ralph's going to have to die. Don't forget what I taught you. You taught me nothing, Ralph. You taught me nothing. That mech is now useless. Well, thanks, Miss Kern. So we got two more grid, time pod, three damage. Is there a pilot here? Nope. Ooh. Stab multiple tiles and push the furthest hit tile. Yeah, too bad I couldn't repair there, but... Yeah, Ralph's gone. Don't kill the Volatile Vec. That's just not going to work with our group. Uh, let's see. So let's actually take this here. Okay, so the Repair Drop is really nice. 
but for the fact that we don't really have much of the means to use it. So I could do the electric whip or I could do the prime splitter. Electric whip is a little dangerous if you don't if you're about to hit buildings as well. Prime stab seems okay. I've never actually tried it. Acid tip is fun. This one's really fun. But we have we seem to have down pat our uh, hit a bunch of stuff weapon. But this lets us hit things that aren't necessarily in a straight line. You know what? Let's try it. We're not really here to win, I guess, or save humanity. We've already done that before, so... We do want to try and get some extra damage somewhere, and maybe the laser would be a way to do that. But yeah, I'm just not sure if the repair drop is really something I can use. This shield projector is so important. I'd love to get one more use out of it, but um, I don't know what keeps happening to our pilots. Ugh, new Terra, Cataclysm. That's probably the one. Alright. Just knock you here. That means the spider's gonna hit and block this guy no matter what, so might as well put him a little forward. We'll drop you over here. Okay, so, AI buddies. Okay, it's not super surprising. Fortunately, we can ram you into ourselves. Okay, you're you don't matter. Let's go ahead and take you out right now. Oh, we don't have the uh, anti-friendly fire problem. Well, I think we can make that work anyway. So if we, oh. I thought we could pull this guy in, but we can't. So we don't get to get to full clear like I was hoping. But we do get to kill the explodey problems. Looks like we're getting two more vec here, which stinks, but that's that ends our game right there. So and we can't we can only shield half of it. So why shield any of it when we can just take it out? We can charge here, right? Yep. This does nothing for us. Got a lot to do. Alright. And, uh... Achievement get. Except we already got it. That's not nice. That's also not nice. You are supposed to, like, not be doing it like this. So we could just give everybody the whip. Who goes first? Three and five. That stinks. Because we once again we can't have that hit. So I guess the play is whip everything. Whip it good. So we move up here, it's the same move. Except now we can't charge the other guy. At least this isn't hitting any of our buildings. So I guess this is the position we want to whip from. Unfortunately, it looks like I'd be shielding this guy. So... Well, we're only doing one damage now to ourselves, so I guess it's not so bad. Alright. We get to clear so much. I guess we I guess we gotta take the one grid. That's really problematic, but I can't get in to shield it because of the smoke. And I can't block the shot because I really need my science mech. 
so we'll just stick it here. I don't think I can repair in the smoke. Oh well. Alright, so one grid damage. Okay, those spawns don't matter. That doesn't matter. Cataclysm's first. So who goes first? Two, three. So if we move you up here, this is going to fire and kill that guy. Get you out of the Cataclysm. If I do this, might as well shield. Get you in a better position to actually open fire. Like, I need this guy to kill that guy, so that's not going to happen. All right, let's hope our turn order works. Such stupid creatures. All right, one civilian casualty, it sucks, but region secure is all we really want at this point. And boss time. We've got two more grid than we started with, so Cyan Abomination. What does the floaty boy do? I don't know. We got a lot of... Oh my god. Oh, that's so terrible. Ah, oh man. I can't shoot lasers over this thing. All right. Do I just put myself into, like, a terrible spot so close? I think so. Like, what do you do? All Vec have HP, regeneration, and explode on death. Well, then aren't you a special? All right. Uh, let's put you over here. Probably going to need to make liberal use of shields. So we got two smokes right away. Oh, well, fine. All right. So you're just going to hang out on the water and do literally nothing for me. So you're doing nothing. Like. Can I move far enough? I'm not sure if I can. Like if we do this. Well, first off, let's just test and see real quick. Huh. Looks like we're shielding that building. I don't know if we can take out the sign abomination because right now... I'd have to fire here, but let me actually take a quick pause. Suddenly thinking I would have done better with the uh, little acid poke or other poke weapon because it lets me head over two tiles, but like I said, I'm, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble with this layout because the dude's just going to stay in the middle. If I kill any of these guys, they are going to regenerate. So my best course of action is to just try and deter as much or stop as much damage as I can. So we shield right here from the looks of it. Block this spawn. We can put some damage on this, which is better than taking one potential damage there. And uh can I ram through water? Yeah, but once again, it hits a building, which is pretty awful. Unless, as I can shield both of these, ram into the water to save that building and save this building from damage. Block a spawn damage, leaves this guy free to roam, but I should be able to get out of the water and charge again. I think he's going to regenerate next turn, which is a bit annoying, but I don't have too many good plays right now. And this map is just awful, and I really need to get this guy dead ASAP. Oh, he didn't regenerate. Okay. Okay. 
Well, the good news, if I can yank that guy over, shoot a laser over here. Who's firing on this one? That one? Okay, so that goes in the water. This is three damage, so that will kill this guy. That worked out. I did not think it would. Which means, what do we do with the tank at this point? I guess we will determine that uh, after these messages. So let's see, yeah, that's a, that's a fire, that's a kill there. That's worthless, that's more worth. I wonder if those guys regenerate underground. So, yank. I just kill that guy. That certainly ble beats blocking the spawn and not killing the boss. They're only doing a few damage there. So he's still got a shield. Alright. Good turn. Oh, that you got that water. You're dead. Why'd it have to be spiders? Okay, that spider spawned at like the worst place possible, but you're not attacking anybody I care about. I do need to worry about you. So I can kill the spider by ramming it. I don't have line of sight here. I think we have to take one grid damage, or maybe we can get a resist. Because I gotta poke this guy down. You're firing into the nothing, which is fine. That's way more important. We're gonna do it this way. Might as well get three damage on him. Okay, hope we get a resist. Nope. Oh, I don't like this one either. Okay, that's good. That's defensible. That's annoying. Fire here. We can take another corporate building loss if we move you over here. You still have one set of shields. I can put you here and defend these two buildings. One of these guys might get is gonna get shot at twice. Because I don't have line of sight, unfortunately, to uh, block that move. You do three damage, so that would kill this guy. That's kind of okay. I mean, you can die. It's the last turn, and you're all robots. I don't know why I'm getting sentimental all of a sudden. So if we put you here, you'll block that shot. Or we can take the one damage here but it seems more likely that we're gonna have to take one damage we can nuke this guy into orbit could actually push you into the smoke which would cut off that extra damage and then shield so that would go like this because once again it doesn't matter we don't care about the robots today. And uh, that blocks this shot. Does that mean there's a better play here? I mean, at this point, I can just kill this guy, which means I didn't even need to shield this. Let's reset. If only for education purposes. So if we do this first, that knocks out two shots. He's dead, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you're firing. We can't kill you guys. We can't 
can stop this one. So I guess in essence it's the same move as before. And we can save our Robro just for fun. Look, you don't have to die today. Good job, shields. Good job, team. This whole playthrough is a little sloppier than I'd like for it to, but on the other hand, I like that it's sloppy, because it's making me really have to think about stuff, so that's good. Not a perfect island. We lost the earth bar on accident. Uh, rocket artillery. Ooh. But we don't have a ranged mech, so it don't really matter. So... Most of these all sell for one. We only have one pilot. Why can we not buy pilots here? Gemini missiles don't do us any good. Brute class weapon. We push people away from each other. Flaming shield, immune to fire. That's definitely not worth two. <sighs> I've got a lot of equipment that I could potentially use. I guess one of the questions becomes, like, I think the shrapnel's come up clutch. Am I ready for the last stand? I don't think I am. I think I want to see if I can get a few more pilots, but it's going to be kind of a tall order to get a perfect island next time. Still, electric whip. I think electric whip is going to serve me really well. Maybe even better than the burst beam, I don't know. I mean, it was it would be nice having some reach here for damage, but it takes we don't get any more potential damage with that one. All right, so what's the deal? Do we buy two core power and uh, one grid, or four core, four grid and one core? Well, we're selling some stuff too, so sell, sell. Anything else worth selling? Probably not. Okay. That's doable. So who do we want? One damage each is okay with two more health. One more use here is going to be pretty important. But is it important enough right now? I don't know. Because yeah. that means... Are the, have, have I had really any fights where I've been in a position to use this three times in a battle? I'm not sure. But two health and building chain. Health has not really been an issue for this guy, but I do want more ability to potentially get some damage on this stuff, so. We'll see how this works. It might work poorly and super terribly, but we'll leave that for another time. I think this is going to be a four continent run, despite uh, the disposal place is going to be a nightmare. But hey, that's uh, into the breach for you, isn't it? This is Asher, a bit of a long one today as far as this game goes, but hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.